Here is what the Kardashians have said about Sean Diddy Combs throughout the years. Following Sean Diddy Combs' arrest in New York last month, his renowned acquaintances have found themselves under the scrutiny, with many online analyzing their previous relationships. The 54-year-old was brought into jail in September on allegations of sex trafficking, racketeering, and transportation to engage in prostitution. He is currently behind bars at a facility in Brooklyn after being denied bail twice. Yesterday, Texas-based lawyer Tony Busby filed six lawsuits including four male claimants, including one who stated that he was only 16 years old when he was sexually attacked at one of the rapper's infamous white parties, which he has denied. Following his arrest, his relationships with other celebrities have reappeared on social media, including his star-studded events and A-list pals. Multiple US outlets suggested that Kim Kardashian was one of those who unfollowed Combs on Instagram, although she has not spoken publicly about the speculation. A video just emerged, showing Khloe Kardashian talking about partying with the music mogul in an old episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. The clip first aired in 2014 and showed the now 40-year-old catching up with her sister, Kourtney Kardashian, as she unpacked a raucous party with a bunch of her friends, including Combs, Justin Bieber, and French Montana. Later in the show, they were bowling with a friend when she revealed, I haven't gone to bed yet. I boarded a plane at 5 30 m well, this party, I believe half of the attendees were butt naked. Two years later, Chloe invited Combs to participate on her Cocktails with Chloe series, where she praised him as a diligent, eclectic individual. Well, I know you're known for throwing parties. When you think of a party or a good time, you think of Puff, she explained. We've been known to party with you a couple of times. Turning to Courtney, who was also taking part in the episode, she continued, You were just at Puff's birthday. Yes, I forgot about it. That was also a fantastic night. Every night, the Poosh proprietor reflected, that night was fun because all the girls ditched me so it was just me and the boys. It was just me, Kanye, Corey, Gamble, and Tigger hanging out and having fun. I loved it. Heaping adulation on Combs, Chloe added, I don't know how you have all the energy, but that's who you are and why people are drawn to you because you're so eclectic regardless of how much you work, you don't sleep or do anything, but that's just you. Their connection was still going strong three years later, as Chloe tweeted images alongside Combs and her siblings on December 16, 2019. She posted two Instagram photos of herself with the infamous producer, as well as sisters Kim and Kylie, during his 50th birthday party. Alongside the upload, which is still available on her profile, Chloe wrote, Nothing like a Diddy party. No one in the famous family has been tied to any of the claims that Combs faces, and they have not spoken out since his arrest. Combs is now in detention after being arrested last month, following sexual assault and rape claims that span decades. He has passionately rejected all charges made against him, and his lawyer shared a statement with Metro about the latest cases filed by Busby yesterday. It stated, the press conference and 1 to 800 number that preceded today's barrage of files were blatant attempts to attract publicity. Mr. Combs and his legal team have complete faith in the facts, their legal defenses, and the integrity of the court process.